the other uh, factor that we want to talk about is the use of force alternatives. Could they have done something else? Could they have done a chokehold, a taser attack? Could they have tackled him? Could they have blocked him but with the vehicle? Well, let's take a look at that one and let's see. So when we go back to the video, we're gonna, we can see that as this is playing, we're gonna zoom in and there's, there's a number of cops. Now we don't actually see Jacob, it looks like, till right then. So he may have been you know, sitting, he may have been squatting. If you back up just a few frames, let's see. He kind of just pops up. He may have been leaning against the, the back of the car. Who knows? But he's on the other side of the vehicle, and he pops up right there. At that point in time, there are, I think there are four cops that are right there following him. Yep, see those four heads? One, two, three, four. He's walking around. There's four cops. One of them has their gun out. It looks like this guy looks like he's, well, we can't really see what he's doing. But there are four of them, two of them are running around. The other two are just standing there. They have not moved at all. So they, okay, there they are. They're actually coming around the other side, but we do not see them. They're not even close in the frame. Who knows where they went? They're, they're off on, you know, over here somewhere. Uh, this cop is trying to grab him and stop him. We don't really see a, you know, much, a, much of a sense of them trying to do anything other than pull their gun out. So gun guns already drawn. Uh, it doesn't look like, you know, there was ever a taser there. Doesn't look like they tried. He's only a few feet away from him. He could have easily, you know, tackled him at this point. He could have jumped on his back and put him in a chokehold. There were three other cops right behind him. So no taser. No chokehold, nobody trying to block the passenger door, not pulling their vehicle in front of his vehicle. He's just kind of, you know, walking around the vehicle to get in. The other two cops bail in the other direction and nothing else was tried, literally nothing. So they just go, they go right, right to the gun, right to the firearm. So as he's walking away, just pulls the gun right out, no taser, nothing else, boom, and decides to shoot. So. What do we say about that one? Well, of course, we're going to say that there was no attempted use for alternatives. The, the police get zero on that, and the defense gets one on that. Now, the other one that's a little bit counterintuitive, did the police have backup? Did they have adequate support that was present? And when we go back to the video, we're going to see, I just covered it. There were four cops there, right there, right around Jacob, right around him. And they could have done a number of different things to inter intervene. Basically, what this is pointing out is that there was essentially overwhelming force over this guy. Uh, four cops, one Jacob, they could have done a, a number of, they could have easily subdued him, tackled him, uh, put him in a chokehold, put him in an arm bar, done any sort of technique to actually stop him from, from fleeing. They didn't do that. The reason why I'm going to give a point to the defense on this is because there were four of them and there was one of him. If it's a one-to-one -one situation or even a two-to-one situation, it's a little bit closer. Okay, In the Rayshard Brooks case, what we saw were two cops and one uh, Ray Shard. And the two cops, they got totally overwhelmed. They got overpowered by Ray Shard. They tried to arrest him. They put his hands behind his back and he overpowered them. It's because it's, it's two on one. They were poorly trained. They didn't do anything right. And so they decided to shoot him in the back because they were embarrassed as he was running away. But in this case, there were four of them, which makes it even worse, right? If there's four people, they should have absolute and total control of the situation in a way that doesn't require them to pull their firearms out. If there's four cops just standing around twiddling their thumbs, why isn't one of them not you know, going the other way, the other direction? Why are they not you know, jumping on his back or tackling him if he's really that big of a threat? That officer had his gun pulled before he was even a threat. There was no weapons in his hand at all. They pulled the gun, that officer pulled the gun on the other side of the vehicle. It was the first line of defense, not the last line of defense. It was the first decision, not the last. So he could have done a number of other things, didn't do that. There was plenty of support there. If it's a one-on-one -on -one situation with the cop and the cop has to draw, I can understand that more because it's it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, right? If, if you lose your gun or if you lose this altercation, the next step could be you're dead. But that wasn't the situation here. It was four on one. And they first thing that this cop decided to do was just shoot him right in the back. So let's see. That point is going to go over. Uh, police don't get any points on that. The defense gets a mark. That is a tally that that factor uh, also goes against them.